more of her friends and colleagues are speaking out in her defense. There is now a letter of support circulating online and on email bearing multiple signatures from people in Blasey Ford's hometown. Others have set up a GoFundMe page and started letter writing campaigns. So let's go to MJ Lee. She is live outside of Ford's house in Palo Alto where we know she is because of these intimidation you know, tactics and death threats, she and her, her whole family have left. Um, tell me what you've heard from her longtime friends. What, what, what are they saying about her? Yeah, Brooke, um, obviously a lot of drama in Washington right now over whether Blasey Ford is going to testify next week. Uh, but let me fill you in on what we've been seeing here in Palo Alto. This is where she lives with her husband, her two sons, where she's a professor at Palo Alto University. Uh, as you said, while we are seeing friends, uh, neighbors and colleagues really rallying around her, uh, trying to let her know that they support her and that they believe her uh, allegations against Brett Kavanaugh. And last night, we actually caught up with uh, Jim Gensheimer. This is a friend uh, of Blasey Ford's. He's been friends with her for eight years. And he has said that she actually came to him uh, for advice over the summer, just sort of talking through how she might tell her story. And I just want to read a part of his statement that he gave to CNN uh, because it's pretty powerful and remarkable. Uh, he said, I have no reason to not believe what she says about Brett Kavanaugh. Uh, because she clearly has nothing to gain and much to lose by going public with her story. I know from things that she has told me, including her need to have more than one exit door in her bedroom to prevent her from being trapped, that this event was serious enough to have a lasting impact on her life. Uh, so obviously a very powerful and disturbing new detail coming from a Blasey Ford's friend. And, and as you said, a couple of other noteworthy things in terms of just the local support that we're seeing. Uh, there is a GoFundMe page uh, organized by neighbors and colleagues that has raised tens of thousands of dollars so far. Uh, there is a letter writing campaign uh, organized by a neighbor. Uh, and Sunday night we uh, expect to see a candlelight vigil uh, also organized by local residents. And as for where uh, Christine Blasey Ford is right now, uh, we're obviously standing outside of her house and we don't know where she is, uh, but I will note, Brooke, that yesterday we saw a man uh, go to the house and take out suitcases and leave with those bags. Uh, we don't know who he was. We don't know where he was taking those bags. Brooke. And Jay Lee, thank you, in Palo Alto. Uh, if, and that's a big if, this hearing set for Monday actually happens, what would it look like uh, for some answers? I want to turn out a former U.S. attorney.